Hi, this is Dennis with Cybercraft. We're going to do another practice quiz today. This time we're going to try the CompTIA A+. And CompTIA A+, is the best certification to get if you're looking to be an IT technician. Uh, so let's practice these questions. Let's see how I do. I got my note card ready, and we're just going to go through, jump in. Okay, so remember, I like to read the questions, rephrase that question, then I look at the answers, and then I, I reread the question one more time. So a technician needs to replace a failed power supply on a server. The server in question only has one power supply. The server contains two processors that each need 100 watts, five hard drives that each need 9 watts, and a GPU that uses 200 watts. Which of the following power supplies should a technician use? Okay, so this is, I guess, a math question, basically. So we have 200 watts of needed from the processor. And this is where, if you're taking the test in person, you want to use a note card. Uh, five hard drives for nine watts, so that'd be five times nine. And then uh, 200 watts for the GPU. Okay, so that'd be 400 and then uh, 45, 445. So we need a 450 at least. Uh, so let's look at the answers. 375, 425, 325, or 500. I'd say 500. Honestly, I would pick a power supply that's much higher than that, but uh, you, know, you do want to account for power surges. But to answer this question, this would be correct. This would be correct. Because you need at least, what this question is driving at is you need at least the number of watts that you're using on at a given time. So you need to at least meet your minimum power draw. Okay, organization uses a cloud storage service to store company files. The file synchronization client for this cloud service is installed on every user's computer. One user reports that a file synced with the client to their computer does not contain information a coworker of theirs added earlier today. Indicate the best action to win this troubleshooting or win troubleshooting the problem. Okay, so we have cloud storage, like OneDrive. Uh, there's a sync client on each endpoint. And then one user says that a file that a file uh, synced with the client on their computer does not contain information a coworker of theirs added earlier today. Okay, so like there's a so maybe this is like Office 165 or 365 165 uh, 365 where you know there's a document and the information the coworker added is not synced up. So I would think that it'd be a problem with the client, the synchronization client. But let's take a look at the answers here. Exit the cloud service client that is locally installed, restart the computer, and check to see if the file contains the information that is missing. Okay, that's possible. Visit the cloud services website, locate the service status page, determine if there's a service outage impacting the organization. Maybe. I think it's more likely this is a, a problem at the local level. Open the cl a cloud services client that is locally installed, determine if there are reported errors, and follow the steps provided to correct the synchronization errors. Open the cl cloud services client that is locally installed and check to see if there are any updates available for the client. Okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, I would think first off we'd want to check for updates and then look into errors. So see if it's configured correctly because if it's not configured correctly, that's obviously going to encounter a problem. And we want to keep in mind CompTIA's uh, troubleshooting methodology when answering this question. So we want to start simpler, and then we want to move to more complex solutions. So before we dig into log files, I think it'd be easiest if we just determined if there are any updates available. I mean, honestly, restarting the computer is probably the best, the best solution to start. So I think we want to do... Uh, Exit the cloud services client that is locally installed. Restart computer. Check to see if the file contains some missing information. Or the information that is missing. I think we want to start by restarting the computer. So I'm going to go with A. I'm just a little confused with the wording here. Exit the service, the client that's locally installed. Then restart the computer. Check to see if the file contains some information that is missing. I'm assuming we're checking after the client restarts. You have to be careful with the CompTIA question. So... I th I'm going to go with A. Restarting the computer is usually the first step. Um, all right, let, let's move on. A technician is helping a user configure a new mobile phone. The user could pay for purchases 
mobile phones, not mobile phones, mobile phone. All right, the user could pay for purchases with the previous phone by touching the phone to the payment system using, that's uses NFC, near field communication. Which of the following features should the technician enable so the user can use the phone to also pay for purchases this way? Okay, so I think it's just asking what technology that is. PAN, RFID, NFC, or Bluetooth. Okay, so it's NFC. All right, so I figured out what they were trying to ask before I had to look at the questions there. And that's kind of what you want to do. All right, a user recently reported that every few days the system clock is approximately three minutes behind. Okay, this is going to be probably syncing to a network time protocol. The user always received an error message on the BIOS screen, or also received an error message. Which following most likely fix the clock issue? Okay, well, that could be a BIOS issue too. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure where they're trying to go with this. Enable dual channel memory by adding a second RAM stick. Okay, that's not it. Install a new power supply. That's not going to be, be it either. Replace the motherboard CMOS battery. That might be it. Configure the PC to be an NPC, NTP server. Okay, so that, I mentioned it was something to do with NTP, but we don't want to configure this PC to be an NTP server. So if this probably, and the clue here is the BIOS message, there's probably something uh, wrong with the battery. Okay, now the battery, if the battery is going bad, then the internal clock has to reset every time because there's not enough power to maintain uh, just a little bit of local memory, local storage that includes things like time uh, that the BIOS uses. So the CMOS battery, that's going to be correct. So I think it, it's C. And this is the, the key phrase there that's telling us that it's that answer. Okay. A user with a new 5G smartphone notices the device is separated at the seam on one edge and is measurably thicker at that point. Okay. Which of the following actions should the user take first? Okay. So they bought a new smartphone and they noticed that the device separated at the seam and is thicker at that seam. You should get a new smartphone or get a refund. <laughs> anyway. All right. Power off the smartphone, place it in a bucket of rice for 48 hours. Okay, so this is, I think, water damage that we're trying to, uh, trying to uh, solve here, I think. Place the smartphone in a refrigerator between 35 degrees and 40 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. Fully deplete the phone's battery and then charge it to 100%. Contact the smartphone manufacturer for warranty support. Okay, so I would say return the smartphone. Contact warrant, uh, the manufacturer for warranty support. It's a new smartphone. I thought this might be water damage. It doesn't say anything about water damage. It just says that the device has defects. This is like a manufactured defect. Separated the seam and is measurably thicker. So I'm gonna go with contact the smartphone manufacturer because this should be something covered under the warranty. All right, a technician is replacing a laptop's hard disk drive with a solid state drive. Okay, hard disk drive has a spinning disk, solid state drive uses uh, that flash memory. Which of the following should the technician do first? Well, they should power down the laptop. Uh, let's see what they're going with this. Create a backtop, backup of the hard disk drive. Okay. Upgrade the RAM of the laptop. Enable SSD support at the BIOS. Install SSD drivers in the OS. Okay, so I first, before they do anything, I think they should make a backup. This is a tricky question. They would, they want to make a backup. If you're going to do anything with storage, you want to make a backup first before you remove devices because electrostatic shock, if you touch that hard drive in the wrong spot, you have a static discharge, uh, even from your fingertips that can fry the hard drive, especially with those magnetic disks on the hard drive. So, I think we're going to do the backup because it asks us what we're going to do first. Now, some of the things we would do also, but I think we want to first make the backup. Okay. Which of the following technologies has the fastest connection speed? Okay. Fiber, satellite, DSL, or cable. Okay. Fiber optics would have the fastest connection speed. 
fiber optics much faster. Yeah, these are using radio waves. This is fairly fast, but fiber is much, much faster. Okay, fairly straightforward. All right, a PC in a conference room will be connected to a large screen TV for video presentations during training sessions. Which of the following video connectors is most likely a choice for this environment? Okay, so it's gonna be HDMI, most likely. Maybe VGA, no, probably HDMI. Video graphics of Ray, Thunderbolt, digital vis video interface, or HDMI. Okay, HDMI. And I think we only have eight answers here because the answer key is right down at the bottom. Video graphics array, Thunderbolt, digital visual. This is, let's see, a PC in a conference room will be connected to a large screen TV. Yeah, I mean, HDMI connectors are available on most PCs. I think it's HDMI. Now, let me just double check these. I want to go back to that one that we took that sometimes it helps to go through the questions and revisit them, especially on the CompT exams. You're allowed to do that. Because as you go through, you're going to get more comfortable answering the questions. I mean, even me, who've done thousands and thousands of questions, I still get a little more comfortable doing it. All right, an organization uses a cloud storage server service to store stumpty files. Sync client is installed on every user computer. One user reports that files that are synced do not contain the information. Okay. Yeah, I think now that I'm looking at it again, I think restarting the computers is the best action to troubleshoot then. Visit the website, because a restart usually solves most problems. These are all more complicated steps you probably would take later. Updates are useful, but I think of the restart is what you would do first. And this one, two times 100, uh, plus 200, 400, and then nine times five, 45, 445. This is the only possible answer. New mobile phone, previous, they wanna do purchases. It's gonna be near field communication. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, three minutes behind, CMOS battery. I think that makes sense. 5G smartphone, it's manufactured defect, call the warranty, that's Delta, good. Technician do first, create a backup, I think makes the most sense. And sometimes when you look back at these, you really, really can confirm your thought process. Fastest connection speed, definitely fiber, and then HDMI. Okay, so I got my answers here. Thought we'd have 10 questions, but we have eight. So let's go ahead and see how I did. All right, so D, C, that's C actually, C, so I missed one, C, D, A, A, D. Okay, so we did miss that one with the cloud client, or I missed it. Uh, let's see. So the answer that they wanted is C, open the cloud services client that is locally installed, determine if there are any reported errors and follow the steps to correct the synchronization errors. Okay. Now I was reading this and I, I think I said go into the logs. Look at this again, it doesn't say anything about logs. So I could see how this could be correct. Determine if there's reported errors and follow the steps to correct the synchronization errors. Let's see. I, I can see how this is correct, though I do think that A would solve that if we restarted it normally. I think you would want to restart first and then see if there's any synchronization errors. Okay, so I could see that. So I missed C, so we ended up getting a seven out of eight. And remember, you know, as long as you're doing the questions, uh, you're going through good thought process, narrowing down the answers, then you're gonna be okay. Don't get tripped up if you miss a question. And questions like this where you have a lot of text, these, these are really gonna be trying to justify one type of answer here. So I don't see anything here in the question that really strongly points to C more so than A. So this is kind of a toss up question. And some of the questions are gonna be like that. You just have to deal with that. Not all the questions are 
created equally. Not all of them are at the same level of quality. So sometimes they're, you get questions that are just, they're bad questions. And you just have to understand that you are going to miss some questions on the exam. Uh, I've actually never heard of somebody getting a perfect score on a comp T exam. Just remember, you're probably going to miss a question or two at least. So don't worry about it. But I hope this thought process was helpful for you guys. I hope uh, going through these questions was good. We did 1101. There's two exams for the core, or there's two cores for A+. Plus. There's two tests. There's the core one, which would be 1101. And then there's 1102, which we'll also be doing. That's core two. And each have a different focus. But I hope this was a helpful video teach you guys my thought process or show you how I go through the questions. And if you're looking for A plus training, if you want a live class, uh, self-paced classes, discounted vouchers, check out our website, cybercrafttraining.com. have all that material for you. All the live classes we have come with our first time pass guarantee, which means if you don't pass your exam on your first try after going through our class, we'll pay for a free retake for any of our certifications, any of our live classes. And we also have great self-paced materials. We're CompTIA authorized partner. We use all the official CompTIA materials. So if you're looking for a great training option to knock out your A+, we have practice exams too. Go to cybercrafttraining.com. We'll be happy to help you out. But I hope this is helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.